I know all Cardinal fans, including yourself, are enjoying Mark McGuire. Tell me what your thoughts are about this guy. Well, Have you ever, you ever seen mania like this? Well, it's really exciting. It's great for baseball. And uh, Mark is uh, a um, natural home run hitter. And uh, he knows the strike zone, which is very, very important. And the third thing is, uh, every time he swings, it, 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 it might be a home run. Yeah. So it's exciting. The fans love him, and he's a great guy, and uh, doing wonders for baseball. It is, and, and this is a great home run chase this year. A couple of guys have a chance, maybe three guys, if you include Sosa, Griffey, McGuire, with a chance to break uh, Maris's record. You think they really have a chance? Well, they have a great chance, yes. They're all uh, way ahead of schedule, you know. And, yeah. uh, and uh, talking about uh, uh, Griffey, you know, uh, I played with his grandfather in my hometown. <laughs> <laughs> really? In Denora? Yeah, yeah, he was on our on our baseball team, and uh, he was a good football player. So the Griffey uh, are from my hometown. Wow. <laughs> and then, of course, his son played for the Reds, and then yes. now Ken, of course, is a star. This mania, this McGuire mania, it, it just seems like people are going to the ballpark to watch this home run chase and to cheer for him and give him a standing ovation every time he's at the plate. Do you remember anything like this in, in the history of Cardinal baseball? Well, not uh, not not really. This is uh, this is very special, you know. Mac, uh, he's a great guy. The fans love him. He uh, he's done great for the city. You know, we're very fortunate that to be able to, to have him on our team. And uh, you know, we've got to give uh, our general manager and our ownership credit for getting M Mark here and then signing him in for two right. more years. So that, that's a terrific asset in, in, and for the Cardinal, Cardinal fans, and we're happy to have him on our club. Bes besides yourself, and you hit 475 home runs, who was the greatest power hitter that you played with? Well, I guess, uh, I guess Kenny Boyer was the last uh, power hitter the Cardinals uh, developed through the years, and uh, of course, I play with uh, George Karaski. He he was a good power hitter. Walker Cooper was a good power hitter, and of course, uh, one of the best power hitters. I played uh, one game with Johnny Mize. Yeah. <laughs> John, John Mize, you had a lot of home runs. So I think those uh, are the, the few that I, had, I could think of. You you uh, watch pitching today. What do you think of the pitching today? Is is it too diluted? Well, no question about that. Uh, you know, everybody in baseball knows, but uh, 16 or 18 more teams, you know, in the league, why uh, the, the pitching is somewhat spotty, right? Yes. Uh, w how do you think you would hit today against these guys? Well, you know, uh, once you can hit, you know, you could hit in the, in the air, <laughs> really, yeah. because, you know, we talk about errors, uh, you know, when I played in the 40s, I, I was competing against the guys who played in the 30s. I played uh, t till the 60s, and I was playing against the fellows who were going to play in the 70s. Right. So there's uh, no era of time where they, they say baseball is better than the other because the years run together. And uh, But uh, we've had some great uh, young ball players today, and we had some great players in the old days. So uh, uh, baseball is great, and we, we love it. So someone uh, someone asked me the other day, and I used the old joke. They said, "What would Stan Musial hit today?" And I said, "Oh, he'd probably hit about 310, 320." But you got to remember, he's in his 70s. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I I could hit, but I don't know who'd run. <laughs> <laughs> um, you became pretty close friends with Tony Gwynn, and you guys have had uh, several conversations. So where does he rank with the great hitters? Well, Tony uh, has had some great years uh, in the league. He's been up to 10 or 12 years. He's hitting well over 50, 350 for an average. And uh, consistency in, in, in any sport is a sign of greatness. And Tony's done that. You know, he said he's a wonderful guy, knows the strike zone. He moves the ball around, and uh, on top of that, he's a nice guy. I want to talk a little bit about sort of the, the renaissance of some of the ball players of your era, and that has to do with the, with the memorabilia that is really taking off, sports memorabilia, over the last 10 years or so. And uh, first of all, let's talk a little bit about that. Are, are you surprised at how this has taken off? I mean, I'm sure everybody asks for your autograph, and pretty soon, about 10 <laughs> minutes later, they're going to go sell it for, for some kind of money. Well, you know, uh, it 
help to bring we old timers back to life. Right. <laughs> you know, they these uh, young youngsters see our picture all over on the cards and lithos and other places. You know, so they they know they know who who we old timers right. are. Well, so. and that's the nice thing. The nice thing is that the folks who didn't grow up seeing you, getting to see you play baseball, have only right. read about you. They'll get to meet you, they get to sign your autograph, get to see pictures. Those are the nice things about the memorabilia. Uh, well, let's talk about a couple of uh, pictures that you brought here today because these are these are really special. Jeff, can you, uh, maybe we'll do it over here. Um, I don't know, let's, let's go to camera three. This is uh, Stan the Man meeting President Kennedy. Tell me about this. Yes, well, that was the 1962 All-Star game and uh, President Kennedy invited me up to his box, and uh, we we chatted for for a while we, about uh, baseball and politics, and uh, that's Senator Stuart Symington right there, uh -huh. and uh, Stu is a great friend of ours, and uh, so the next uh, uh, President Kennedy invited us to the White House the next day, and. Uh, so Miss Mule and I, when my daughter Janet went over to the White House, we spent a half hour or so with the president, visit around, took some pictures, and he was a great sportsman, a great sport fan, and uh, you've been to the White House a few times, haven't you? Well, I've been there with my because <laughs> <laughs> President Clinton is also a Cardinal fan. Yes, he was. Yes, he is. He was a great Cardinal fan, and of course. George Bush you know, was a great uh, baseball fan. Right. He was a first baseman, loved baseball. So we've had a lot of presidents who, who really loved, loved baseball. All right, let's show this uh, next picture. See if you recognize who this guy is. Uh, hmm, <laughs> who is that guy? Well, you know, that, that picture was <laughs> my first uh, spring training down in St. Petersburg, wow. Florida, back in 1942. Now. Take a look at the glove. You wonder how we caught the ball. Yeah, how did the, you? With that feather, <laughs> feather tick uh, glove. But uh, we never missed any. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you used to leave the gloves in the outfield when you ran into the dugout, and then the, then the players on the other team would use them. Is that right? No, they wouldn't. No, they, they wouldn't use them. You just leave them there. Yeah, we just laid them there. We threw them down and. Uh, you know, it's in all the years that it was going on, I never saw a ball deflect the, on the glove or, you know, go in a different direction. But I was, I was, uh, I, I like to uh, uh, throw when I threw my glove down. I like to see it hit flat and lay there rather than turn over. Right. If it turned over, I went down and put it back because <laughs> I was superstitious. <laughs> <laughs> now, if people want to get a picture like this with you and President Kennedy or uh, the old Stan Musial in the, his first spring training at, with the Cardinals. How do they do that? Well, we have our company uh, uh, out on Manchester in 270, uh, Stan the Man Inc. And uh, uh, they could either write uh, or call or uh, what, what's their number, Dick? <laughs> Dick, what's their number? <laughs> Nine six five three thousand. Yeah, that's that's a good way. Now, before we go, you, you always say you don't go anywhere without it. Did you bring the harmonica? Oh, my goodness, let's see. Now, he always tells me he doesn't no. go anywhere. He didn't he, bring it. Not, oh, wait a while, let's see. Oh. <laughs> He's got it. All right, so we'll, we'll, play, we'll play to break, and, and you'll take me out to the ball game? Can okay, you do that? all right. All sure, right, let's do it. Stand the man, take me out to the ball game. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right.